I hope all is well with you first off. I know that just as a student athlete, it was really tough to have your, your postseason, which was going to be something to come to fruition for you guys. I'm sure that was a really tough thing to grasp onto and just the academic side also, but how have things been? Um, I would say things has been very tough, you know, you know, as regard the current situations. Um, this is an unexpected event that just, you know, happened. But, you know, we just got to figure it out, find how we can adapt to the circumstances. You know, it's just to, I just understand that, you know, change is constant. You know, you never can tell what can come, come up. You know, and life is so full of uncertainty. So, but I would say everything is for now is good. But yeah. And last year was your first year at Butler. And looking back just on the athletic side and academic side, you know, what moments really stood out to you with your first year here? Um, I would say um every every moment that I had in Butler you know actually you know was a good moment but I know there is a there is a time we had a game against uh what team did we ever play uh man I I forgot the team but I know that (laughs) from the game I had a four-point play you know and when I had a four-point play and I fell fell down you know that moment was so you know heartwarming being that um, I see my coach, my teammates, all of them came and rushed me up from the ground. You know, it's just, you know, a moment that keeps ringing in my brain. You know, it's one of the moments that I feel like, oh, I feel love around me like, like never before. So I feel like that moment really stood for me. But I'm going to look at, I think I have the clip. I'm going to check the team, the, the name of the team we're playing, then I'll give it to you, the name of the okay. team. So yeah. Yeah. Every home game I was at, and I'm trying to think, the one shot that I remember of you vividly was you hit that half-court shot, you banked it in. Oh. (laughs) I will never forget that. I was sitting at the the scores table, and I'm like, she's going to hit this. I'm like, that's, like, spot on, and you did. And that was was my favorite moment of yours, I feel like. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, And kind of with that, I mean, playing in the Big East, uh, you definitely were decorated in that, uh, in that portion of the season too, but just places you were able to visit, like New York City, um, the Big East tournament was in Chicago. Originally, you're from um, Nigeria, so how did this enhance, I guess, your first season here also? Um, I would say... Um, everything has been pretty good, you know, um, even, you know, I came from a different culture, you know, it's totally different from the American style, you know, but being able to adapt to you, adapt to the, the situations of the culture actually makes us who we are. Um, and I feel like for the time being, you know, it has actually, um, contributed to my values, to what I value the most, to some things that I cherish the most, you know, having to come down here to the States to study, play basketball is one of the most remarkable moments in my life. And secondly, I would say being in New York, I've been to New York, I've been to Atlanta, you know, my very first time I went to New York, it was like, oh, it's so populated, you know, it was like kind of big city, you know, um, and well, New York that we went was um, was based on uh, what's it called, the biggest um, you know post game post season for athletes you know trying to get them prepared for the after basketball you know it was really you know a pretty moment for me you know at that point so I'm thankful so everything has been you know pretty good. Yeah, yeah, and just collectively as a whole, like being in Indianapolis, uh, was that a city that was. Well, I just remember when I came in uh, my first year, I thought that Indy was a really awesome place to uh, grow up and kind of acclimate to. Uh, Just kind of, even like, you know, on the Butler side, you know, was that a pretty good city you feel like to really kind of dive into right away? Oh, yeah. I'm not really a fan of big cities, you know. Even when I transferred from Kansas to Butler, um, 
Kansas uh, is a pretty small city too, like in passing. So that's where I really stayed. So it's really a pretty small city. I'm not really a fan of big places. You know, I like places that is just small and easy, do your thing. I don't like population. So I feel like because of I was coming from a small city, I was able to adapt to, you know, Indianapolis precisely. But like, so yeah. yeah, so that. Yeah, and your senior season is next year, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, any goals? I mean, right now, I'm sure that the goals and the way the off season is looking like is different, but uh, how is that mindset right now? Uh, I feel like I'm ready, you know. Although, you know, with the current situation, you just don't want to make it to think too much. You know, you're just trying to keep things very simple, you know. But I'm ready for the senior season because I really want us first to accomplish a mark, you know, which I believe um, with our team coming up, we're going to accomplish it. And, and I feel like we determined to, to do the unusual. So I'm ready for the senior season, you know. Yeah, and you're a player that can really kind of make shots off the dribble, somebody who just has that that offensive tenacity 24-7, I feel like, on the court. You can just kind of feel your presence. Uh, but in your eyes, what is your best attribute that you hope to carry over into the season even more next year? Um, I would say um, leadership kind of thing. You know, I just want to be be there for my teammates you know, on and off the court, you know, I got to, I want to motivate them, you know, everybody needs motivation some kind of way, you know, I want to hype them, I want to be um, someone who they can depend on, you know, someone who, when they look at my face, they feel, they feel alive, they feel, they feel energized, I just want to be there for my teammate, I just want to support them in the best way, just the way the coaches are supporting the team, supporting the players, I just also want to support them in the best way. If while I'm, while I'm on the court, when I'm off the court, I just want to give them my best support because I believe um, we need each other's support, you know. So I just want to be like kind of vocal, you know, be the one talking the most, be the one trying to get everybody together, kind of like a leadership, you know, kind of thing. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm looking at. Absolutely. And just kind of to wrap things up, um, the one – the one four point play you mentioned earlier with how, you know, the team rallied around you, kind of picked you up off the, off the floor, got really excited, uh, but just kind of off the court at Butler, what was your all time favorite moment from this year? Oh, off the court. Oh, um, I have to say I have a lot of moments though, but I said the moment, the most moment that I had was, you know, having to meet with my teammates in the locker room. You know, I'm just so full of energy, you know, all the basketball courts. And we also having some free time to come together to blend, to, you know, to, you know, to share moments with your teammates, you know, is also a great thing. Like sometimes our coach, you know, kind of organize maybe like a dinner in his house, you know. So having, you know, to have everybody together, you know, is it's a beautiful I just love seeing my teammates. I just love seeing, you know, seeing them happy. You know, so when they whether they're happy or not, I try to make sure that everybody is happy. I try to put smiles on people's face. I try to crack jokes, you know, even while I'm in the locker room too. You know, I just and I just have this passion being around my teammates. So I feel like those moments whenever I have opportunity to be with them all the basketball court, it's just an exciting moment. And I'm always thankful for that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and honestly, I'll be completely truthful with you. That's one thing that, you know, we're obviously not teammates, but I've noticed that your energy has been very evident and transparent on the court. You honestly have been a great contrib contribution to this team. Like, I'm excited for next year for you. And you. I, I really hope that everything kind of gets back to normal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's going to be – I hope that the fall is able to um, start on track and I really appreciate you taking the time to do this, but it's been a pleasure. Honestly. It's been a really fun season. and I was so happy to see you flourish. Really. I was. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tracy. Appreciate it. Yes. Cool. All right. Thank have a good you. one. Yeah. Have a good one.